Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to design a raft foundation using Puta structure. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to design perfectly a raft foundation here in Puta structure. Okay, so let's begin right now. So this is a school building, as you can see right now. This is a life project and this is a school building. So we are done with the design of the superstructure. So right now, we want to now go and design for the raft for the, for the foundation. And the choice of the, of, of, of the foundation that we want to use is a raft foundation. The reason is because the bearing capacity of this building is 65 kilonewton per meter square. So we have tried using part foundation and it was not working. It was failing, there was punching. And even if we have, uh, we have also tried to increase the depth of the part foundation and it's still failing. So we now decided to use a mini pie, which is a pie foundation, which, and, and as you know, we have two types of raft foundation. We have bin rafts and also slab rafts. But on this training and also on this building, we want to use a bin raft um, for for the foundation of this building. So right now, to begin a beam rod foundation, the first thing to do is to go to your plan view first. Now, on your plan view, you can see that this is the story one. So you have to go to story zero zero and make story zero zero active. So when you come to story zero zero, you will be left with only your columns, as you can see it here. Now, since we want to use a beam raft, we will now begin to now insert our our beams, which is also called ground beams. Okay, so right now, I will now click on this place, concrete member, and then click on concrete beam. And then I will now go, once the data logos appears, I will have to now go and impute my, my ground beam properties, which I want to use 225, as you can see it here. Now the depth, I want my beam depth to be, I want my beam depth to be 1,400. So I'll just go there right now and put my beam depth 1,400 and then I'll now begin to draw my my ground beam just the whole idea is to connect the letter ground beam be connected from column to column so I want to make it to flush you can see that this beam is not centralized so I'll just go here right now make here to be zero and then go here right now and then click on this place okay okay so right now it this beam is this beam is now centralized okay so i'll just go and then click on this and then begin to connect all my um all my columns together using the ground beam so the whole idea is to check what the kind of plan you and how you connected your beam on the ground floor and then do do the same here okay so i'll just do again i'll now click on this from here to here okay that's fine and also click from this point to this point and then from here to here and then from here to here so always connect your your beam during your raft foundation column to column okay so i'm doing that just now so you can see that we have different sets of column you can see that we have column of 450 by 225 that's because the load on this building is very high because this is um a school building and we know that school um, school building using um, we use the BS code for this design. Like I said again, this is a live project, so you, you can you, you can see that we have already checked all our columns, and you can see that that some columns are bigger than the other. That's because we have checked those this these columns, and we have seen that this is the exact size that will be able to carry the load on that area. Okay, so we are now begin to connect our beams together. Okay, so the whole idea is to connect your beam together. So there is what they call Ekidel mentorship class or program which is a special training we are will train civil and structural engineers especially not here on a youtube we are will use a live screen casting where you will be able to um see us and we will and we will now guide you on what to do it it takes only four weeks and the price of it for now we are giving discount is just three hundred dollars for the four weeks but i tell you you're gonna learn a lot because we will we will train you across all aspect of structural design both in steel and also in concrete and also detailing okay so if you are interested i would say check on the link down below and then um join join the um join our ekidel men men mentorship class okay so right now i'm done with this place i'm now begin to connect this one also i'll connect from here 
to here and then from here to here now if maybe you are you you get confused along the line you don't know how how the beams are running you can just go here and then navigate from this place to to the first floor and check how your beams are so let me just go and check if i'm really following what i'm what i have now the other best way is to use your phone and then snap the way you you have drawn your beam here and then go out to, to the to the story zero zero and draw your beam perfectly there okay so right now let me just check what we have we have a um, beam along this side and then here okay let me just go back to the user right now and then go and draw my beam there so i'll go here right now again so we concrete beam okay remember i'm beam and then okay so i have um i have um from here to here beam okay so right now let me now begin to tell you theory about rough foundation now before you must make your choice we have different type of foundation beginning from a pad foundation which is called pad footing or most people call it footing foundation but the, the body right name is pad foundation so the first thing you have to consider when when you're designing for your for your for your for your foundation on building is for is a part is a part foundation that is if the building is is um is um is is not more than four story building the first thing you should consider is to use a part foundation and that is only if the bearing capacity of that of that building or of the soil is is up to 75 kilonewton per meter so once your soil bearing capacity is up to or more than 75 75 kN per meter, the first foundation type that should come to your mind is a pad foundation. Then it is when you have tried that and there is a failure, you can now go ahead and go and use the next one, which is called a strip foundation. And when a strip foundation is not, is, is not sufficient, then you can now go ahead and, and, and now go and use a being out foundation. And when a being out foundation is also failing, you can now go and use a slab raft foundation. When that is, is not failing, you, you can now use the final um, type of foundation, which is a pie foundation. Okay, so here on Ekidel, we will be teaching you that last year we did more on, on a part foundation. So if in case you missed all our videos on part foundation, I would say you should go and watch our videos and you will learn a lot on how, on, on how to design a part foundation. So this year, we, 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 we want to train you on a rough foundation. So we will be we will be doing more buildings on, on a rough foundation and by the grace of God, we have been having contracts on building design and all on and on all our buildings contract that we have been having is a, is on the rough foundation so that's why we are using a life project to teach you on that and it is always good to use a life project to teach anyone that, that you want to teach because we believe that it is only it is only when you use a life project to teach someone that they will be able to have confidence on what they are learning okay so let us begin right now so the whole idea right now is to connect all the um um, it is to connect all the beams, all, sorry, all, all the columns with a grand beam, which I'm doing right now. Rough foundation always takes time, but I'll say that you should just um, pay attention to what I'm doing, doing right now. And in less than three seconds, you'll be able to grab everything. Let me just check how this place is. So I'll navigate right on to story, story one and then check what I have here. Let me just take story one. Okay, let, let me just come up right now. Story one. Okay, there is okay. Tia, I don't have a beam crossing here, so I'll take it off. I'm just doing here to get down there. Okay, that's fine. So I'll just go that way, that way right now. I can just go take this off right now and then go concrete beam. Cross check if your settings, um, the beams are still okay, which is okay for me here. So I'll go here right now and then go locate here and put my beam across here and then from here, put my beam go up right now. It's going to be sorry. Go here and then put here okay that's fine and then what do i have again let me check how this place is this place should be connected this way okay that's fine and then let me see how this place is now get to story one this place will be connecting this way or this way let me see how this place looks like okay so you can now see how okay there is a beam crossing here okay that's fine so i'll do that right now so the whole idea is to cross your ground beam on all the places where your where you have your walls passing through or connect your ground beams to join the columns together as you can see how i am trying to navigate each other to see let me see how this arrangement is on the beams arrangement on the first floor here let me see what i have here okay, let me just navigate okay let me just see okay i have a okay i can choose to ignore this one i can choose to 
not this one because this this panel is this panel is not that big. This panel is um 5.025 multiplied by what length? Um, five point that that's around 25. So, sorry, that's around 25 square square meter, which is not up to 30. That's that's fine. I can I can spare that. I can leave that alone. Okay, so I can leave that as a panel, and then I'll now go and then let me just check again how here is. Uh, okay, 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 that's fine. So I'll go here again right now and then try to work on this place. Go to my concrete member, concrete beam, and then connect um, this to this. So rough foundation all, all, always take time. And you will see that when you're doing a rough foundation, don't be in a haste. Because if you if you be in a haste, you might miss some things which, which you're meant to consider. So always take your time and then perform that very well. Do, mainly the modeling because if you are if you are wrong on your modeling then during the design you'll be having errors or issues on your rough foundation let me connect this i think this should be this should be this way and then i don't know if this is how it looks like here but i believe that's how it will look like so connect this to this and k and connect this to this i'll check that first if, if that's how it looks like i think that's fine i'll go to plan to story one to check okay let me just check that out so 31 if that's what we have okay yes that's fine then we'll be in crosses here too okay that's fine so i'll go back to story 00, zero where the graph is and then um, connect this to this here and click on this beam right now and then take the beam properties so so i will not click here i'll just take the property right now and then begin again so you can choose to click there or just do what i've just done right now the whole idea is to be fast in your modeling Okay, so I've done this area right now. Let me now go and check with again what I have again, how this place looks like on the modeling. Let me just, I'm sorry, on the, on the story one, how the beams here are connecting. Let me just check again here, what's happening here. This comes to this place. Uh, let me see, okay, there's a flow in here. Okay, that's fine, I've seen that. That's good. So I'll just go right now to this story zero, uh, story, story zero, sorry. And then click on maybe, okay, let me just go here, click here. Okay, now I'll now go here again and then connect this first to join here. And then now move on to this place right now from this to this. Now I am pressing escape. So you have to press escape once you want to shift and uh, maybe change your beam direction. So I'll uh, and then uh, here, let me just click here. Yeah, it's going this way. And then let me see how big this panel is. Now you can see I'm checking each of my panel. A panel must not must not be bigger than 13 that square area. Okay. Okay, this is 5.625 multiplied by 5 point something, which is less than 13 meters square because 60 and 30 will give you 5 times 6. So since no none of the length is uh, up to 6 meters, that, that, so that is fine. Okay, so I can take this right now as a panel, as a panel, as a panel, panel. This is what? This is um, 5.25 multiplied by um five that, that's fine so right now I, I am done with my i am done with my grand beam i can see that my my grand beam arrangement as you can see there right now i can choose to connect here together just to make this place more more stronger i can choose to connect this beam together here uh, just to make this this connection stronger okay that's fine i can choose that but if you check in the in our in our upper floor here was a staircase so we left here as void but here on our foundation we don't consider anywhere a staircase because everywhere must be slapped with it with okay that's fine so uh let me do it again i can connect this one to just to make it more stronger also i can go again here put my beam here and then connect um the whole idea is to connect all your columns with a ground beams so that's why i'm doing just that just now okay so again i have again that's fine so right now we are done with our modeling on this place let me just check our plan view we are done with our ground beam connection you can see that sorry 3d view so you cannot see how our 3d view is right now so we will now go and you can see that this story tends to be small so we will now go and add the height of that um, of our dpc so we'll go to this place right now and for this story that's fine in this story we can add dpc level at least 600 let me see if it's not there already now if it is there already then i'll have to go and increase the headroom of this building because this is already 1.4 so uh, let me just open that up okay we already have the the this um do we already have dpc level at 600 so i'll um, increase the first floor um to be 3.3 that's fine sorry 3.3 sorry 
3.3 so i'll put that just now and then click on ok ok i'll just say yes continue about that i'll say yes cancel analysis so i'll just continue right now okay can i see that there is a lift now on that on the head rune? okay that's fine so we will now go since we have um, in, done that it can suit all what we have gone before which is the structure which is the structural which is the structural analysis but first of all let me go and show you how to put our slab graft now go back to our plan view right now to put your slab graft on this bin you have to click on this place and then go to slab now pay attention the way you insert your floor slab on your superstructure is different from the way we insert our slab graft like our our our, our slab on on the bin raft foundation now first of all your your depth your minimum depth for our foundation should be for slab should be 200 and then cover since i'm using bs code i'll use 50 for foundation cover reinforcement and then on this place called load here yeah, you know, you have to take this place notes relative level because if you don't put this value that means that your slab will we're going to stay at the bottom of the beam, which is not, which is not so, supposed to be so. So if I just insert right now without putting the value here, if I check on, on our 3D view right now, you will see what, what will happen. This slab will not be at the, at the top, but yet, but instead at the bottom, which is wrong. So this slab, you can see that there is a slab here, but it is, it is found at the bottom here, as you can see it here. Now, this slab is meant to be found at the top, at the top of this place here. Of this place so right now to, to do that right now always impute you always add your slab relative level only on graph foundation and not on the on the first floor and, and not on the superstructure only on foundation level you put that value so i'll go there right now and edit that slab this slab just this one for the foundation and then go here and then put my value here now how do you get this what they call relative level how do you get the value to put here the value to put here we get it by the height of this beam um the height of this beam minus the depth of the raft slab so the height of this beam is 1.4 minus 200 which is the slab thickness that gives me um, 1.2 so i'll put there right now in millimeter i can see it there 1200 millimeter and i'll click on what update the slab will come up now you can see that right now so if i click on escape just now you cannot see that uh, sorry escape here you cannot see how um our this, this, this is now how our slab our slab graft is sorry our our, our slab on foundation on our foundation is, is is a meant to be you can see there now this space between the between the between the soil and this and this um first uh, and this slab here on this foundation this void inside here will, will be filled with, with the sharp sand during the construction okay so that's how it is so right now i will now use the same procedure to now begin to insert for all my slabs just now okay like i said again you use a a a, a rough foundation when your bearing capacity is below 75 uh, 75 kilometers per meter square now in this case the bearing capacity of the soil which this building is, is to be cited is 65 that's why we chose our choice of foundation to be as a rough foundation else if this if, if this building so if the soil bearing capacity of this building was above 75 or 75 we would have used either a part foundation or a wide strip foundation which I'll also show you a wide slip foundation because we have not done that a lot here. Okay, so I'll just begin to insert my slabs, just confirming that I still have my level here. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to insert my slabs just now on everywhere. Everywhere must have slab on a rough foundation. So I begin to put in my slabs just there right now. I'll just pan right now to see everywhere and then begin to part, put my slabs here. Okay, that's fine. So I'll now click on what they call escape here. Okay, and then once I click on escape, I let me now show you on the 3D view what we have just done just now. So if you check on our 3D view right now, you can now see what we have done. We have successfully um, modded our our rough foundation as you can see there let me just turn off this grid line for you to see it clearly and then and then also okay so right now you cannot see what we have just done we have now modeled our rough foundation as you can see there now there is something they call toe now in bs code of practice once your beam is more than one uh, is a uh, once your beam depth is more than 900 millimeter once your beam depth is more than 900 millimeter and it's up to one meter upward that beam should be designed as a retaining wall now this beam uh, uh, this beam right now the depth of this beam is already 1.4 meters so this beam this 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 rough beam right now 
appears to you as a beam, but you are meant to design it as a retaining wall. So in that case, I'm and 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 the way we design the way we design a retaining wall is by using a toe a toe at the bottom of that wall. So right now, I'm going to add, since this beam depth of this raft is 1.4 meters high, I'm going to add a toe. The reason for that toe is to be able to resist, is, is, sorry, is to be able to resist what they call overboarding pressure, or you can say active pressure, that we're going to um, affect this beam at the bottom. So I'm going to apply what they call toe on this um, on this raft foundation. Most people don't do it, but like I, like I told you, we follow guidelines and what is and 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 the, what is there on a BS code. So let me just show you right now how what I mean by tool. So I'll go right now on the plan view right now to make a model my tool slab for C on the on the raft foundation area. So right now I'll just go this way just now and then click on my slab here and then click on the slab here and then on the slab right now properties i will still pick here as 200 which is what i which which is what what we used here you can see there and then cover to be still 50 and then on this sorry 50 and then on this place right now you have to leave this place this core this place here as zero don't put any value here because the slab is meant to be at the bottom and not at the top which is that old slab Okay, I'll now go to this place right now and choose my type of slab here as 2F. It must be 2F, else it will not work. So once you pick 2F right now, it, on this place called length of cantilever, which is L cant, you have to, it, a toe slab, it, the length of toe of for, for a retaining wall starts from 500 so five to one meter so in just not to avoid any um coming back to command now repeat what i would have what i've what just done our, our advice is just use one meter which is the maximum or you can stick yourself to 850 750 but in this case i'll use one meter as my length of cantilever and I'll, I'll now click on this column and then click here and then insert and then click outside here now we have just gotten our first tool let me just do for this line just now and then show you on 3d view how it will look like okay so let me just do again from here to here and then click here and then i'll click on what they call escape here and then let me just show you how it looks like on the 3d view and on, on the 3d view and then we can now come back to one and continue what we are doing just now so if i want to take this place right now this is this is what they call a tool slab let me just turn off my grid line so that you, you, that you can see it very very clearer Okay, I turn off my grid line. Okay, now this is what they call a toe slab. This will help to take care of what they call overboarding pressure at the bottom of this base. I will also show you how the reinforcement detailing will be, which we are going to use the stone bridge, the new release of the stone bridge company structural template, which is a customized template for for detailing after you're done with put that structure. Okay, so if you want to know more about the template, I would say you should check all our all, all all our social detailing videos and you will see how that template is wonderful okay so i'll just continue right now to now begin to put my 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 um toe slab on all the place where we have ground beams on the on the raft on the on the foundation level so i'll go here right now plan view again and then begin to i'll just click on the on this one right now right click and then begin to um put in my um take my properties and then begin to insert that just now so this way right now our model from here to here and then click outside and then from here to here and then click outside i'll now do it very fast just to be very fast i'll click from here to here and then outside and then from here to here and then outside and then from here to here outside okay so you cannot see what i'm doing so raft foundation always takes time so when you're charging for our foundation always charge it very high the same rate the let me say you charge um for design for a part foundation let me say um three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars you don't have to charge that the same price for our foundation because our foundation takes time so you can charge up to five hundred dollars for our foundation so if maybe you want to contract us for your social design, we are always open for that kind of service to also design for you if maybe you want us to um, perform your, your design for you and also your and also your detailing for you. So you can pay us for that and then we will assist you on your social design work, okay, and also projects. Okay, so I'll just do this right now and then continue again what I'm doing right now. Do this and then do this and then continue from here, put here. 
okay so the whole idea is to put all this toe slab on everywhere you have this this um ground bean which is the raft bean okay so i'll do this right now again and then do this and then do this and then do this again do this again here and then continue again continue here again continue here again continue again continue again and then continue again so i'll do this again right now continue from here continue here okay that's fine and then click here and click here and then click here and then continue again from here click here and then click here and then click here and then continue again right now click here click here and then click here okay sorry that's bad let me just continue from here continue from here click here click here and click here okay i'm gonna just to redo here after i will do that place so i'll continue again from here to here and then click here and then continue from here to here and then click here okay and then click from here to here and then here okay that's fine so let me now redo this place right now so i'll just click on the escape first and then delete this slab this this one first I am meant to insert this this and small one first. If I, if I can now insert that one, so I'll just delete that first. This one now, and then go back and take the, this one property. Right click and say properties, and then insert this one first. Insert from here to here to this place, and then continue again from here to here. Click here and then click outside. Okay, that's fine. So this is now. Let me now show you the, the 3D view of what we have just done just now. So if we now go and check on our 3D view just now, and then click on 3D view, and then 3D view here, to now see what we have just done. So you can now see that, let me now turn off this grid line for you to see it clearer. So you can now see that we have successfully modeled our raft foundation, as you can see there. Like, like I said again, the first part of this video will be on the modeling. So, one, on the, so this is the part one of this modeling. So you can now see that we have successfully modeled for this car foundation. So this is how to model a car foundation. Now part two, which will come up immediately after, the, after this video, will be on the graph foundation analysis and, and design, which I will show you the settings you're meant to do before you can perform your graph um, design in Buddha structure. Okay, so right now you can see that what we have just done so far is very beautiful. So this is how to model a graph foundation. And I, I've, I've also told you the theory that you have to take or what to consider before you can choose your choice of foundation as a foundation. Okay, so if you have any questions so far for the for what you have done for now, I'll say you should drop the, 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 the question on, on down below the comment section and then we will reply you immediately. Okay, so thank you so much. And this is the part one. So so watch out for the part two, which will not be on the Graph Foundation design and also analysis. And, and then the part three will be on the Graph Foundation um detailing, which I will show you how to detail um um, um how to detail this toe slab and this um beam and this slab reinforcement together how they will how they will look alike okay so right now thank you and god bless you i'm for the next we love you and i will love you again okay bye